Borderlands 3 is, surprise, surprise, rammed full of Easter eggs. A game seven years in the making, it's no surprise that references to Game of Thrones, Destiny, and Rick and Morty, along with so much more, are hidden in its loot and shoot gameplay. We've rounded up 13 of the best Borderlands 3 Easter eggs we could find, and some of these are just... Well, I didn't expect to have a Skyrim meme referenced in the new U Resurrection, so prepare yourselves for some truly bizarre Easter eggs. When you're adventuring through Borderlands 3, it is perhaps inevitable that you're gonna die. Unless you're an absolute beast who laughs in the face of death and positively taunts it by going through Second Wind repeatedly. When, or if, you do die, you'll be gently mocked by the calm voice of the new U system, and one of its lines references Skyrim's opening cutscene. So, when you're resurrected in Borderlands 3, if you hear this line... Hey you, you're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Just know that if you Google it, this Borderlands 3 Easter egg is gonna send you down a rabbit hole. Consider yourself warned. Rick and Morty have transcended dimensions and made their way into Borderlands 3 as an easter egg, only this time they're slightly renamed as Wick and Warty. You can find them in Electricity right here. And they are very aggressive indeed. One of the coolest details is that Rick, or Wick, has a makeshift portal gun and uses it to teleport around and avoid your attacks, complete with trademark big green swirly portal. The perforator warties don't have shields, I bet you Wick decided not to bestow them one, so they're not hard to take down. Wick only has a melee weapon so they have to get right up close and personal to hit you. The teleporting will make you work for that kill, though. As a reward, you'll get the legendary redundant Feebert shotgun. Feebert? Fairbert? I don't know how you say that. Okay, so this isn't exactly an Easter egg, but it is a cute little detail. In each introduction cutscene, a skag makes an appearance, and they're usually the baddies. They get run over in Borderlands 1 and 2, and in Borderlands the pre-sequel, the skag is part of the bandit crew. But, in Borderlands 3, the Skag is the good guy at last, and gets a psycho run over too. Well, it's about time. <laughs> Have a look at the car plates stuck around the world, and there are a couple of little Easter eggs hidden in their names, like Gearbox, duh, and Red Rum from The Shining, or The Racing Horse, if that's more your kind of thing. The days of Handsome Jack are long gone, but there are still remnants of that time scattered around Borderlands 3. These posters are dotted here and there and harken back to Handsome Jack, now with a moustache and hat, and Opportunity, Hyperion's city that was meant to be a beacon for the wealthiest families and had a death penalty for littering. Lovely. Hidden in there is also a wanted poster for Brick and Roland, and a missing poster for one Jimmy Jenkins. Jimmy Jenkins was a tiny mini-loader in Borderlands 2, and you can only find him hiding away in loot boxes. He's only 64 weeks old, bless him. Well, if he was never found, now we know why. It's cause we killed him. Lastly, one mysterious poster mentions Rich Fleeder, who was an outsourcing producer for visual design and worked on Borderlands 2. When you first meet Vaughn, he's in a compromising position, to say the least. Tied upside down in only his underwear and a cape, he asks you to cut him down and treats you to a little Matrix Borderlands 3 Easter egg. I like to hang, but not like this. Not like this! That last bit is a reference to the Matrix when Switch says... Not like this. Not like this. Neat. <laughs> when you kill Gigamind, in return you'll get a gun called Smart Gun XXL. Its flavour text is busy getting brain like Krang. That's a little reference to Krang from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yep, to the brain. Who actually resembles Gigamind, come to think of it? 
Yet another gun that has an Easter egg hiding away is this shotgun named Mind Killer, which is based off Dune. The legendary weapon has red text reading, I must not fear, fear is the Mind Killer, which is a direct quote from the equally legendary sci-fi tale of Dune by Frank Herbert. It's a random drop by the looks of it, and you'll find that it's just as effective at killing the children of the vault and other sentient creatures as it is at killing mines. Another Borderlands 3 Easter egg takes a while to come about, but it's a neat little nod to, of all things, reading the terms and conditions at the beginning of the game. When you're fighting a certain boss, Reese puts on some Digby vermouth. Apparently, that musician is pretty famous, as he and his music are mentioned in the terms and conditions from the beginning of the game. If you read the terms and conditions, you'll already know that, but come on, let's all admit it. We didn't read it, did we? By the way, by accepting the Echo, you've implicitly signed up to Digby Vermouth's secret subscription service. What a nice touch. Go to the sewers in the Anvil on Eden 6 and after you open the chest in the middle of the room, you've got a chance of finding none other than Daenerys. Well, okay, not Daenerys exactly. This mimic's name is actually Mother of Grogons, the uncorroded Queen of the Sewer Kingdom. So I think it's pretty obvious who she's imitating. Especially as she has three dragons, sorry, Grogons, named Rage, Vice and Dreg. These versions of Regal, Viserion and Drogon don't take very kindly to you trying to kill their mum, though. This Game of Thrones Easter Egg is a random spawn, so you'll probably have to reboot the game a couple of times to encounter it. But seeing the Mother of Dragons, sorry, the Mother of Grogons, spout rockets at you with her three dragons, oh, god damn it, sorry, Grogons, flying in the sky is definitely worth it. One Punch Man can also be found in Borderlands 3. Go to Lectra City on Promethea to find this One Punch Man Borderlands 3 Easter Egg. After opening these switches in a particular order, a badass one-armed psycho named One Punch will come for you. Sure enough, he has a giant fist and, be warned, one hit is enough to send you to your knees. Seriously, I was level 25 and he still downed me. Mind you, it is one punch man. What did I expect? Back in ye olden times, Peter Dinklage voiced Ghost in Destiny. He might not be voicing the tiny robot anymore, but to find him in Borderlands 3 and his Dinklebot Easter egg, all you have to do is head to Skywell 27 on Promethea. Go to this spot on the map, and like with the Game of Thrones easter egg, you'll have to do it a couple of times to get Dinklebot to spawn from a trash pile. Yep, that's genuinely where he emerges from, but it is worth it. Not only is Dinklebot a cute tiny ghost, but it also drops a lootogram, which you can give to Crazy Earl for a reward. But just look at him, he's so tiny! The best Borderlands 3 easter egg, in my honest opinion, is this one. Are you ready? This Borderlands 3 easter egg is a big one. There's a whole quest that's a giant love letter to Lord of the Rings. Damn right there is. Named the Demon in the Dark, this quest is not for the faint-hearted as it's recommended to be for level 45 Vault Hunters. You can find it in Conrad's Hold on Pandora if you thirst for a challenge. It involves puzzles, tons of enemies, and at the end you'll get a Balrog-themed shotgun named Burning Chomper, plus bragging rights, which are just as important, to be honest. And those are the 13 Easter eggs we've spotted in Borderlands 3. If you liked the video, go have a try on Moxie's slot machines on us. Subscribe to Eurogamer for more videos like this, hit the like button if you, well, liked the video, and click the bell icon to get notified when we create a new video. We'll have new ones out every single day, so you won't be waiting long. See you later, killer.